All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Pokemon. Today we're going to be opening up this gorgeous Squirtle tin. It's going to be a top series one. There's going to be seven packs of tops and an oversized Squirtle tops card, a uh, box topper card in there. So this is going to be fun. Another day, another tops tin. Another day to chase the hollow tops Charizard. We're also chasing uh, any of the starters in a holographic. And even the Charizard in a non hollow is a big chase card. You can get a pretty good value for that in a 10 if you grade it. And again, we got another error. It's so weird. This is the second time this has happened, and this has never happened to me prior to this uh, spree of openings. The wrong card, a Bulbasaur instead of a Squirtle. That's, that kind of sucks. We did a Charmander tin the other day and got a Pikachu promo card instead of a Charmander. Charmander's my favorite Pokemon. So I was a little bit disappointed with that. I was wanting the Charmander promo. So there's our seven packs. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope. All right, Squirtle. Let's see what you can get for us. Any starter in a hollow would be great. All right. So we're starting out with a Raichu. Beedrill. Oh, man. A very minty Charizard right out of the gate. I'm going to get that in a sleeve. Good start. I don't see any issues with this card. I don't see any corner damage. It wasn't stuck together at all. Very good start. A very good start indeed. All right. So we got a checklist. A Charmander. Nice. We'll put him in a sleeve, too. And, ooh, a Venusaur. Pidgeot and a Hollow Venomoth to start things off. Not bad. Not bad at all. Sleeve up every little Charmander just in case one day I want to go back and grade them. I've already got a couple of these in a 10. I don't have a Hollow Charmander in a 10, though. But just in case one day I do look back and want to grade some more of those Charmanders, try to keep them a little extra protected. So we've got a Kakuna, a Sandshrew, Nita King, Parasect, Clefable, Vile Plume, Mankey. And a coughing and wheezing TV card, episode card as our hollow. We're definitely building up quite the uh, tops collection in this video series. Okay. So this one we've got a Psyduck, Machoke. Geodude, Alakazam, Golem, Jesse, Gary Oak, and a Hollow Tentacle. Not too bad. I can get it in there. I've got a separate binder just for the Hollows, too. I do really enjoy opening up some tops. We got a Meowth, James, Graveler, Machop, TV Ash Ketchum, Kadabra, Primeape, and a Hollow Bell Sprout. Nice. How many packs have we got left? Four, three packs left. Oh man, went through this pretty quick. All right, so we got a Gold Duck, a Paris, Clefairy, 
a Gloom. Ah, uh, Vulpix. Thought for sure it was going to be a Zard again. Arbok. Pidgeotto. And a nice little Meowth. Alrighty then. I'm very happy about these tins, though. They're, they're not too stuck together, which is very uh, a nice change of pace. Sometimes the tops cards... I got a whole booster box once where all the cards were stuck together so bad within the packs that every single one got damaged. It was like ripping apart stickers. They were so stuck together. So far, I haven't had any issues with these tins. Tentacool, coughing and wheezing. Rattata, Ivysaur, Bulbasaur, Raticate, and nice, I just got one of these out of the tin prior, a checklist and a hollow. I might grade those checklists, honestly, they're pretty cool. All right, last pack magic, guys. Wish me luck. <clears throat> Nidoran, Nidoran, Venomoth, Meowth, we got a Golbat, Jigglypuff, Firo, oh nice man, another Hollow Blastoise, we just got this out of another tin today, I, I'm, I'm filming all the videos on the same day, we just got a Hollow Blastoise out of the last tin. Very strong hit. Very strong hit. Blastoise and a Charizard. Actually, we got a Blastoise and a non hollow Charizard out of the last 10. And that uh, checklist card. Very nice. I was just telling, I was just saying in the last video that I don't know what the difference is. Maybe you guys can fill me in. But from the last 10, it's a textured hollow Blastoise. And this one doesn't have that texture. So that's kind of, it's kind of odd. But very cool. Very good. Uh, very solid hits in there all right not bad not bad at all all right guys thank you guys for watching make sure you like and subscribe for more tops content and as always i love you guys appreciate you guys nick strength and pokemon signing out